and he kicked it out to open shooters. Now, what well, not what Ben did wrong was actually committing two stupid fouls, two silly fouls, and then actually being overly aggressive in the first half on, on, on defense. So that aggression on defense that he actually has, he needs to save that for the third and fourth quarter. That's the one thing I can actually say. And then sometimes he actually sets screens incorrectly. Like he'll move, he'll do like a moving pick, moving screen. You know, so it's just silly fouls that actually took him out the game, not his scoring. I'm not, you know, he can score. I mean, I did videos. I did multiple videos on Ben Simmons. Can he? Can he? I, I, yeah, go watch the videos. I did the videos. Bro, on I don't care about. Bro. I don't care about the pass. I don't care about his skill set. Again, that's a conversation about skill set. We need. We need. Y'all need results now. With KD being out at least four. All right, it's one game. Yeah. <laughs> it's what seven. It's one game. One it's, game. It's he had thirteen assists. He had have, nine rebounds. He, uh, he had three shots. We have definitely seen more than one game of Ben Simmons. But we don't, like I said, we don't know. And the, and, and then the Brooklyn Nets is not going to tell us. And I don't want the Brooklyn Nets to tell us if he's dealing with a lingering type of injury or not. You know what I'm saying? Ben Simmons. So that, Ben Simmons. Yeah, because yeah. like I said, you ain't going to – I'm not going to go out there if I do play ball, you know, and tell my opponent, oh, man, man, my knee's acting up. What are they going to say? Yo, go out, Rod. Go yo, go after him on the – like with Seth Curry in the playoffs uh, 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 this past year. He was dealing with an a, a injured ankle. He, he was right. on one leg. So what they did, they went at Seth Curry, you know. So all, we don't know what's going on in the background medically with him, you know, if he's dealing with injuries. And like I said, he was out with the back. You know, he has to get the confidence back. I mean, it's going to take some time. I mean, he was out for a year and a half, and plus the other two surgeries. Just like T.J. Warren. T.J. Warren was out for two years. Edmund Summer was out for two years, a year. He was out for one year. So it's, it, it, it'll actually take some time. You'll see. You'll see. None of those guys are all-stars. None of those guys are the top three people on the team. You're giving, you giving Ben way too many excuses, Rasheed. Let me ask you this, what because you're Brooklyn I mean, Nets. Your Brooklyn Nets are 27 and 15 right now. They're four games back or in the East or Boston. We, we're mid-season now pretty much, halfway through the regular season. What have you learned about your Brooklyn Nets in the first half of this season? Uh, Look, looking at where they started and where we are now, what have you learned about your team? They got to get healthy. You know, like I said, there's a, there's, been, there's a lot of players. Joe Harris was out a whole year. Um, we don't know anything yet. We got to see them actually get back to like full form. Uh, do they actually need a big or not? Do they actually need a big man? That's the whole key question. You know, they did the, the, the whole big thing last year with Blake Griffin and Marcus Aldridge. And then when it comes down into the playoffs, I mean, these guys get exploited. I thought you was telling me last time, though, Rasheed, y'all had KD and Nick Claxton. That's what you, y'all needed for the rim protection in the size. Well, no, no, I'm not saying that. A lot of other people, uh, other analysts out there are saying they need a big, and the fans is actually saying that they need a big man. But, like, you know, you look at Giannis, he doesn't play like your prototypical big man. You know, you look at Joel Embiid, he's more, you know, he can post, but he faces even more of a face-up player. And you look at these guards. So you got, like, Donovan Mitchell, uh, Halliburton. You got Jalen Brunson. Uh, you got the Tatums. You got the Browns. You, I mean, you have a lot of dynamic guards in the East and in the West, and those are the guys because the rule, the way the rules are, uh, is it, made it where they actually have the advantage. So you need guys that can move laterally, like a like a Nick Claxton, Ben Simmons, and and Kevin Durant. You know, um, so yeah, I like the team the way it's actually currently constructed. Now, what I what concerns me is the free throw shooting between Nick Claxton and Ben Simmons. Uh, more. Nick Claxton, you know, because Ben Simmons at least has some type of experience. I, I watched him in Philadelphia where he, you know, he was closing games out, you know, hitting, you know, free throws, not all the time, but, you know, he they left him on the floor in closing moments of the game. So I'm really more worried about, like, Nick Claxton. He went 1, you know, 0 for, 0 for 11 in the Boston Series one game. I'm like, oh, my gosh, man. You know, and then we seen them chuck up a lot of air balls and the free throw line. So I'm I'm kind of more worried about that, the free throw shooting between Ben Simmons and Nick Claxton. How ironic to you is it that the Brooklyn Nets may need Kyrie Irving to come to their rescue? 
after everything that him and this well, that's organization what he's, that's, went that's what he's getting paid to do that's why he's getting the, the the millions of dollars him and kevin durant is when you when you try to run your sets and if it doesn't work and you know you got six seven five seconds on the shot clock that's what Kyrie is is being paid to do pretty much is uh hold up no 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 they took million wait a minute they took millions of dollars from Kyrie we're not gonna act like they didn't suspend him without pay we yeah yeah that's a different show wait a but no, forget, no, no. All right, forget about all that forget about all that you know if it wasn't for how <laughs> how can we forget I, about I'm that gonna get Listen, I'm the one that actually said that I want Joe side to actually sub the team yeah, I'm with you on that. I mean, I made a video saying that he should sell the team. If if um the Phoenix owner has to sell his team for making an indirect racist comment, you know, just for something repeating Draymond Green, then Joe Sy actually has to sell his team for being blatantly racist. You know, how come that how come Joe Sy gets a pass? But that's 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 a different 